Before we start looking at teaching literacy, um, whether it's reading, writing, oral communication, we really need to decide, well, what, what actually is literacy so that we can then figure out how we're going to get students from A to B. This is probably the most common topic that teacher aides or teacher assistants would be teaching in an independent type way. There's lots of money floating around in the education world these days because of things like NAPLAN testing and the political drive that's you know driving um, the requirement for students to be able to read and write at certain levels by certain um, by certain ages or certain years. So liter literacy is generally, I mean, I define it as being able to interact or send messages backwards and forth between other people using different mediums in a way that, and, and messages that are understandable to other people. So that could be being able to write to a certain genre, for example, a short story or um, an email. It could be, be able to, and being able to read in those genres as well. Also being able to communicate uh, orally is, is important and important literacy. You also hear people have talked talking about um, your, um, computer literacy, being able to use a computer to a certain extent. One of the best ways to define literacy, yeah, or to say a student is literate in this particular language, is if they can read your average newspaper, not um, the real highfalutin type, um, you know, Financial Times or anything like that, your average local newspaper in that particular language. If they can read a newspaper in that language and understand most of the articles and adverts and those types of things, you can generally say that they're literate in that particular language. Remember too that your reading and hearing abilities, just like little kids, is usually a few steps in front of your ability to express yourself in that particular language as well.